Hello, my name is JJ and welcome to my latest video on the Lenovo P2. As you might be able to see, this is the P2 that smashed after a very low drop onto wooden decking whilst in a plastic case. See my video on this if you haven't already. I was really disappointed as I've never damaged a screen before in many years of phone ownership, which has meant that I won't be buying another P2 for this reason alone. I wonder if perhaps there's a weak point down here by the home button and that means that I couldn't be confident that a replacement P2 wouldn't have the same fragile front panel. Local high street repairers in the UK still can't seem to get a screen for it so I'd have to send it to Lenovo re for repair and I gather that would cost around £120 which I won't be paying when the phone itself only cost £199. In the meantime I've slapped a plastic screen protector on it to hold it together until I decide what to do. I updated a nugget by following the instructions in the link below and it was really straightforward. I then did a factory reset for a completely clean install and rather than rush the review I've been running nugget on this P2 for around two weeks now and comparing it side by side to my other half's P2 still running Marshmallow. Okay, the important things first. Did nugget fix any of the annoyances that were with Marshmallow? Firstly, the lip sync issue. I'm happy to say this is 100% fixed. Here's a random YouTube clip. The cameramen are so shady, but they're also really good at panning the audience. And I know that you guys notice a lot. You see people with crowns on. That means that people are celebrating birthdays. If you see people with sparkles on, that's because they know that this is a safe place to let your freak flag fly. And here's some onboard video using MX Player. Oh, Even sticks the yard out. It's the only enjoyment to get out of life. Secondly, the annoying notification delays. Despite many people reporting that Nugget has fixed this issue for them, it hasn't for me. I've gone through all the workarounds, locked the padlocks, changed the settings, etc but I still found that some notifications were only coming through when the phone was unlocked. I now use an app called Disable Doze, which has helped massively, but for me there's still a problem on the odd occasion. Notification delivery is still unreliable. Next is the camera performance. Now this is subjective, but for me the still photos are the same, which means they're okay in good light, but soon lose resolution when the light fades. I find them acceptable for a phone in this price range and not nearly as bad as people make out. I found the videos to be slightly better when it comes to focus hunting, but the annoying problem is still there, it hasn't been solved. See my other videos for this. But contrast and sharpness in the videos, I feel, is considerably worse. Sound recording is improved, but not massively. Overall, I don't find the videos to be quite as reliable, especially when the light is difficult. There's no improvement in the stock gallery for me either, so I still use Quick Pick. Overall, when it comes to the camera and video, there have been no major improvements or no new major problems. This may be just me, but I've found the fingerprint sensor to miss a few more times than it does on Marshmallow. Not a huge concern and I'll keep my eye on it. There's no reduction to the excellent speaker volume. Headphone volume is around about the same, which is good enough, not the best. And call quality and signal strength, etc. are all about the same as they were. I personally prefer the notification handling of Nugget, but I don't like the new notification area quite so much. In my opinion, there are no other compelling software differences in Nugget. Marshmallow works fine and both are very stable. Performance day to day on Nugget is unchanged from Marshmallow. Okay, here's a biggie, battery life. Even before I started using Disable Doze, battery life fell from an average of 11 hours screen on time with Marshmallow, meaning approximately three days between charging to around eight to nine hours on Nugget, meaning two days between charging. Now I've enabled Disable Doze, I, I only get around seven to eight hours screen on time, which pushes this into a phone I need to charge every day and a half. So actually I find that I'm now back to charging most nights using a slow charger. Another minor issue I found is the RAM usage. Although this doesn't represent the figures I've been experiencing, on Nugget I find that I'm averaging around about 65 to 70% RAM usage over the course of a day, whereas on Marshmallow that was around about 50 to 54%, 55%, that sort of thing. Not a huge issue, but it's definitely 
been made a little bit worse. So in summary, do I personally recommend the upgrade to Nugget? The answer has to be no. There are no wonderfully amazing features added with Nugget, other than split screen mode, which I don't tend to use anyway, but you may do, so that could be important to you. The only real fix for me has been the lip sync issue. The big hit though for me has been battery life. I'm now getting seven to eight hours of screen on time, which is still really good, don't get me wrong. But that does mean, because of my habits, I tend to slow charge every single night now. I was hoping the camera would be improved massively with the update, but the still photos are about the same, and video quality, in my opinion, isn't quite as good. The sharpness isn't quite there, handling of difficult light situations not great, and contrast seems to have dropped considerably. I still also have the notification delay. I've tried all the workarounds, can't seem to fix it, but lots of people are saying that Nugget fixed it for them. So please don't hate if you're somebody that it's sorted. It really hasn't been sorted for me. There are some slight improvements that I haven't mentioned so far. So for example, audio recording volume for videos, slightly improved, but still not brilliant. But in general, I can find no compelling reason to upgrade at this point, especially if you value the insane battery life over the minor software tweaks. Although at least the security level is newer, my Marshmallow P2 is still on its October 2016 security patch. Now I'm really sorry if you don't agree with my findings, please don't just hit the dislike button just because my opinion differs from yours, but I'm just trying to be honest and this is how I found Nugget to be for me. I won't be upgrading my other half's P2 to Nugget in the near future, I'm happily going to leave that on Marshmallow. Please support this new channel by hitting the like button and subscribing if you haven't already. Please share as well. I haven't earned a penny from YouTube and don't expect to for a long, long time, if at all. But it would be really nice to build the subscriber numbers. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the next one.